Okay, so I'm at Drupal's website and I have the Search API module on my screen. We're going to download this module. Right click, choose Copy Link. We're going to add our new module. Continue. And then from there, I'm typing in search into the filter field, search API. And there it is, there's search API. We're going to need to enable that. And we're also going to need to enable database search. And choose install. It says two modules have been enabled. We're going to configuration, scroll down to where you see search API. We're going to click search API and now we're going to add a server. We're going to give it a server name of products Okay, and then scroll down and choose save. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back to search API. And now we're going to add an index. Look down below and you'll see that we have a server. Now we're going to add an index and give our index a name of products. And now we're going to scroll down to where we see product and go ahead and check that. Now we're going to scroll down again and we are looking for server. Here it is. And we are going to make sure that products is selected. All right, let's scroll down and choose save. Okay, so now we're going to need to index our site. So let's choose index now. Okay, seven out of seven indexed. We're going to go to structure, views, and we created a product uh, page view. We're actually going to delete that. Um, if you want a search bar in your site, um, we're going to need to create a different type of products page. So Let's go to where it says products, page products. We're going to delete the view. So go ahead and choose delete. Add new view. And we're going to type in products and where it says show, we're going to choose index products. Unsorted is just fine. Okay, so under page settings, we're going to check the checkbox and create a page. Display format is going to be grid. It's going to be a grid of rendered entity. All right, let's scroll down here and we are going to, you can choose items to display to a different um, item total. I put 20 because I might have 20 items and I unchecked use pager and now I'm choosing save. 
there's a warning message, but we're going to ignore that for right now. Okay, so grid settings. I'm going to make my number of columns 2 and apply. And let's go ahead and choose save. All right, so there's a few more things that we're going to need to do here, but right now this is what our new products page looks like, very similar to the old products page, but it's going to have a couple of different things to it. We're going to go to configuration and we're going to go down to search API and where it says index um, of products we're going to choose edit And then from there, we're going to add some fields. So click Fields. Add Fields. We're going to add two fields. The first field, we're going to add a published field. So we're looking for um, the word published here. So products, let's see, published. So we're going to add that. Good, and now we're looking for title. Oh, there it is. We're going to add that. Okay, so we have our two fields, published and title. So published is set at status. Um, that's the machine name, and it's a type of Boolean. Label um, for the title, the machine name is title, but the type is going to be set to full text. And now we're going to save our changes. All right, we're going to need to re index the site, so go to View. Notice it says 0 of 7 indexed. 7, I have 7 products, so that's what that means. And now choose Index Now. All right, 7 of 7 indexed. So now we're going to go back to that view. We're going to go to Structure and choose Views and locate our new product page view and go to Edit. Okay, so we're going to add some filters here. So let's scroll down. And where, it see, uh, where you see Filter Criteria, go ahead and click Add. All right, so from here, we're going to type in Published. So Published Product Data Source, Add and Configure Criteria. And is equal to, we want to check True. All right, and choose Apply. And let's add another filter here. So choose Add under Filter Criteria. Okay, so this next one is Full Text Search. So go ahead and click on that. And Add and Configure Filter Criteria. And we're going to expose this filter to visitors to allow them to change it. So check that checkbox. And where it says label, I'm going to just change that to the word search. All right. Where it says contains any of these words, you want to have that checked. And choose apply. Okay, so in our advanced settings, go ahead and go to advanced. And where it says exposed form in block, we're going to make sure that says yes. Okay, so let's choose that, yes. And apply that. Exposed form in block, and now it says yes. 
Good. Okay, scroll down and save. All right, so now we're going to go to Structure, Block Layout, and scroll down to Main Page Content or Main Content. Place our block. It's exposed, so I typed in EX, Place Block. So let's see, Display Title is unchecked. For pages, I'm going to have my search bar only appear on my products page, so I'm going to type in slash products. If you want the search bar on all pages, just leave this area blank. All right, and I'm going to scroll down. Region is main content, choose save. Scroll down, save blocks. Okay, so now we're going to go to our products page, and now we have a search bar. Okay, so we can actually um, test it out, although our search is case sensitive, so we're going to change that in the next video. But I typed in capital F fruit, and I have two items that appear, but if I had lowercase f, I would not see any items.